What's up everyone, and welcome back to Wealth Minds Elite, the place where we redefine success, one elite mind at a time. Today we're diving deep into a topic that can be a game changer for your financial future. We're about to uncover 15 economic secrets that they don't teach you in school, the kind of insider knowledge that can give you a serious edge in building wealth. Now you might be thinking, economic secrets sounds intense, but trust me, I'm going to break it down in a way that's easy to understand, and more importantly, actionable. We're not just talking theory here. These are practical insights that you can use to make smarter financial decisions. Think about it. The traditional education system often glosses over the real-world forces that drive the economy. But by understanding these hidden dynamics, you can start to see opportunities that others miss. You can anticipate market shifts, make savvy investments, and ultimately achieve true financial freedom. So if you're ready to upgrade your financial literacy and unlock a whole new level of wealth building potential, buckle up. Let's dive into these 15 economic secrets and empower ourselves with the knowledge to thrive in any economic climate. Let's be real guys. Most of what we're taught about economics in school is like learning to drive by reading a car manual. Sure, you'll learn the basic parts and maybe even how the engine works in theory, but when it comes to actually navigating the open road, understanding traffic patterns and dealing with unexpected detours, that textbook knowledge only gets you so far. The same goes for the economy. Traditional education often focuses on abstract models and historical trends, but it rarely prepares you for the messy reality of fluctuating markets, unpredictable events, and the constant flow of information and misinformation that shapes our financial landscape. It's like learning about the ideal conditions for growing a garden, but never actually getting your hands dirty and dealing with pests, weather changes, and the ever-evolving needs of your plants. To truly master the game of finance, you need to go beyond the textbooks and develop a deeper understanding of the underlying forces that drive economic change. You need to learn how to analyze real-time data, interpret market signals, and make informed decisions based on a holistic view of the economic ecosystem. In this video, we're going to peel back the layers of conventional economic thinking and expose the often overlooked factors that truly dictate financial success. We'll explore how to identify opportunities amidst uncertainty, navigate market volatility, and ultimately position yourself to thrive in any economic climate. And hey, if you want to keep learning these secrets that they don't teach you in school, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Because let's face it, subscribing to our channel is probably the most practical economic decision you'll make today. Or not. But seriously, do it. Now, to truly understand economic change, you have to think like a detective. Just like a detective looks for clues and connects the dots to solve a case, we need to identify the key drivers that shape economic trends. And trust me, it's not always what you see in the headlines. One of the biggest misconceptions is that the stock market is a direct reflection of the overall economy. While there's some correlation, it's not that simple. The stock market is driven by a complex web of factors, including investor sentiment, corporate earnings, interest rates, and global events. It's like trying to predict the weather by only looking at the temperature. You're missing out on crucial information like humidity, wind speed, and atmospheric pressure. Instead of fixating on the stock market as the be-all and end-all, we need to broaden our perspective and look at a wider range of indicators. Things like consumer spending, inflation rates, housing data, and even commodity prices can provide valuable insights into the underlying strength and direction of the economy. By understanding these economic drivers and learning how to interpret their signals, we can start to anticipate shifts in the market and make more informed decisions about our investments, our businesses, and our overall financial strategies. It's about connecting the dots, seeing the bigger picture, and positioning ourselves to capitalize on the opportunities that emerge from economic change. Now let's talk about noise versus actual influence. Every day, you're bombarded with news headlines, social media trends, and financial information. But most of it is just noise. Sensational headlines sell more newspapers and get more clicks. Real economic influence runs much deeper than a viral tweet. There are valuable insights to be gleaned from staying informed, but be discerning. Focus on understanding economic principles and market movements. Tune out the noise and focus on what truly matters. You want to know one of the most overlooked but incredibly accurate economic indicators? 
the prices of everyday things you buy. Seriously, I'm talking about groceries, gas, even that latte you get every morning. We're so used to hearing about the stock market as the be-all and end-all of the economy, right? But the truth is, the S&P 500 or the Dow Jones, they don't always tell the whole story. They can be influenced by speculation, by big investors making moves, and sometimes they don't reflect what's actually happening in the real economy. But the price of milk, the cost of filling up your tank, those are directly impacted by things like supply and demand, production costs, and overall economic health. When those prices start creeping up, it's often a much more reliable sign of inflation than some abstract stock market index. Think about it. When was the last time you saw a news report about soaring lumber prices and thought, oh, that's just a blip? Probably never, right? Because instinctively, you know that means something. It's basic economics, but it's often overlooked. When the cost of producing goods goes up, those costs get passed on to you, the consumer. And when you see those prices rising consistently across the board, it's a sign that inflation is starting to take hold. Now, I'm not saying you need to become an expert in tracking commodity prices or anything like that. But simply paying attention to the price changes you see every day can give you a much more grounded and accurate understanding of how the economy is actually performing. Plus, it helps you make smarter decisions with your own money. If you see prices going up, maybe it's time to adjust your budget or consider investing in assets that tend to do well during inflationary periods. Remember, knowledge is power, and sometimes the most valuable knowledge is right in front of our noses. And speaking of valuable knowledge, if you want more of these economic secrets, hit that subscribe button. Because let's be honest, who doesn't want to be the smartest person in the room? All right, let's talk about something that's had a seismic impact on the economy social media. Now, I know what you're thinking. What does tweeting about your breakfast have to do with the global economy? But social media can make or break businesses, influence consumer behavior, and even move markets. A single viral tweet from someone like Elon Musk can send a stock soaring or plummeting. A well-coordinated social media campaign can create massive demand overnight. The way information spreads now is unlike anything we've ever seen before. It's instantaneous, global, and shapes narratives in a way traditional media can't. It's crucial to understand how this digital landscape is impacting the economy. Social media has democratized information in many ways. This gives you access to a much wider range of perspectives and information. But you need to be vigilant about filtering out the noise and misinformation. What makes the world go round? You might think it's love, but let's be real, it's economics. And what fuels the global economy? Electricity, oil, food, and metals. Without electricity, businesses halt. Hospitals can't function. Oil is the foundation of countless products and industries. Food shortages lead to unrest and instability. Metals are essential for construction and manufacturing. These four pillars are the unsung heroes of the global economy. They're the fundamental building blocks everything depends on. We often take electricity for granted, but it's the lifeblood of the modern world. It's about powering our digital lives, industries, and future. From your phone to your car, electricity is everywhere. Its importance is only going to grow. As we transition to sustainable energy, electricity is key. Electric vehicles, solar panels, wind turbines all rely on a robust grid. Control of electricity production and distribution means immense economic power. So if you want to stay enlightened, hit that subscribe button. Because let's face it, who doesn't want more electrifying content? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. Isn't oil so last century? While the world shifts to cleaner energy, oil isn't going away soon. It's still the dominant fuel for transportation, and it plays a bigger role in our lives than many realize. We're talking about the building blocks of countless products. Oil is crucial in plastics, fertilizers, cosmetics, and pharmaceuticals. Even as we transition to electric vehicles, the demand for oil in other industries will remain strong. Oil is often used as a backup fuel source to ensure grid stability. Oil will continue to play a significant role in the global economy. What's on your plate can tell you a lot about what's happening in the world. Food prices are a major indicator of global stability. Trade wars, droughts, and political climates all impact what you pay. By understanding these forces, 
you can see the bigger economic picture. We often hear about oil and gas, but let's talk about another crucial piece of the economic puzzle metals. I'm not just talking about gold and silver, though those are important too. I'm talking about the copper wiring in your house, the steel beams holding up buildings, the aluminum in your phone, even the lithium in your electric car battery. Metals are everywhere, and they're essential for pretty much everything we use and consume. From construction and manufacturing to technology and transportation, metals form the backbone of economic activity. So, any fluctuation in their prices can have a ripple effect across various industries. Let's say there's a sudden surge in demand for electric vehicles globally. That means a surge in demand for lithium, cobalt, and nickel key components of EV batteries. This increased demand can lead to higher prices for these metals, which then impacts the production costs of EVs, potentially making them more expensive for consumers. See how interconnected everything is. Understanding the role of metals in the global economy gives you a deeper understanding of market trends. By keeping an eye on metal prices and the factors affecting their supply and demand, you can gain valuable insights into the health of various sectors and make more informed investment decisions. Remember, the more you know, the better equipped you are to navigate the complexities of the financial world. Let's be real. The news can be a bit of a circus sometimes. It's easy to get caught up in the headlines, the sensational stories, the constant barrage of information. But here's the thing. Not everything you hear in the news accurately reflects what's really happening in the economy. Remember, news outlets are businesses too, and their goal is to get your attention, often through fear or excitement. This means they tend to focus on events that are dramatic or unusual, even if those events don't necessarily have a significant impact on the overall economy. For example, the news might blow up a minor dip in the stock market as the beginning of a major crash, causing unnecessary panic. Meanwhile, they might overlook a subtle but steady upward trend in a specific industry, missing out on a potentially lucrative investment opportunity. So, how do you separate the noise from the actual signals? It's about looking beyond the headlines and digging deeper into the data. Don't just rely on one source of information. Diversify your news intake, consult economic reports, and analyze the actual numbers. By developing a critical eye and understanding the motivations behind the news, you can make more informed decisions about your finances and avoid being swayed by sensationalism. Let's dive into the green agenda, a topic generating a lot of buzz. It's not just about saving the planet, it's a major economic force. One of the biggest markets is carbon credits. Think of carbon credits as a permission slip to pollute. Companies exceeding emissions limits buy credits from those that pollute less. It's a financial incentive to go green, but there's potential for manipulation and unintended consequences. Companies claim to be carbon neutral or negative. How much is genuine effort versus clever accounting? That's the question. As investors, due diligence is crucial. Understand the carbon credit game to make smart, informed investment decisions. Let's talk about something you might not hear often, the economic side of inclusive hiring. Now, don't get me wrong, promoting diversity and inclusion in the workplace is absolutely the right thing to do, but it's also smart business. Companies are realizing that a diverse workforce can actually boost their bottom line, and that's leading to some interesting strategies. Here's the thing. Hiring from a wider pool of candidates means you're more likely to find top talent, regardless of their background. That means a more skilled and competitive workforce. Plus, a company that reflects its customer base is better positioned to understand and serve those customers. It's just good business sense. But here's where it gets really interesting. Some companies are using inclusive hiring as a way to reduce labor costs. Think about it. If you're only hiring from a small exclusive pool of candidates, those candidates have more leverage to negotiate higher salaries. But when you expand your hiring pool, you increase competition which can drive down wages. Now, this doesn't mean companies are exploiting diversity initiatives, but it does highlight the complex economic factors at play. As investors, it's important to recognize that ethical decisions and economic incentives can often go hand in hand. Companies that prioritize both are often the ones that outperform the market in the long run. Now, let's talk about shareholder influence. 
The real power players are the major shareholders, institutional investors, hedge funds, and individuals with massive stakes. They influence major company decisions, pushing for changes in leadership and business strategy. Their primary interest, return on investment. If a company isn't performing well, they can sell off their stock. That's a lot of pressure on a company to keep their shareholders happy. The final economic secret we're going to unravel is the presence of economic agendas. Now this isn't about some shadowy conspiracy, but rather understanding that economic activities don't happen in a vacuum. Every decision, every policy, every investment is driven by an agenda, a desired outcome. Governments, for example, use fiscal and monetary policies to influence economic growth, control inflation, and manage unemployment. Corporations make strategic decisions based on maximizing profits, expanding market share, or outmaneuvering competitors. Even individual consumers operate with an economic agenda, whether consciously or not. You make choices every day about how you spend, save, and invest your money based on your personal financial goals and aspirations. Recognizing these agendas is crucial to understanding the forces shaping the economic landscape. For instance, the push for renewable energy sources isn't just about saving the planet. It's also about reducing dependence on fossil fuels, creating new industries and jobs, and securing a sustainable energy future. By understanding the underlying agendas, you can anticipate future trends, identify investment opportunities, and make informed decisions about your own economic well-being. There you have it, Elite Minds, 15 economic secrets that they don't teach you in school. Remember, knowledge is power, and understanding these hidden forces can give you a serious edge in your financial journey. Don't forget to smash that like button if you found this valuable, share this video with a friend who needs to hear this, and subscribe to the channel for more wealth-building strategies. Let me know in the comments which of these secrets surprised you the most. I'm genuinely curious to hear your thoughts. Until next time, stay informed, stay ahead of the curve, because remember, a luxury lifestyle is built on knowledge and smart decisions.